Well, now to the latest on that brutal attack against two NYPD officers. One of the suspects has now been indicted by a grand jury. This comes amid a report that some of the other suspects have been arrested in Arizona. Fox 5's Chris Welch joins us now in studio with the latest today. Chris. Yes, Steve Natasha, that report coming from Fox News, which says that, quote, several men believed to be migrants who were arrested, then fled New York City, were apprehended at a bus station in Phoenix. Uh, there's no comment this time. The attorney for Yohenry Brito not saying much today. Brito is right now the only suspect to be arrested and held on bail in connection to the assault on two police officers. He was in court today in connection to two prior misdemeanor charges. He's also now the only one to be indicted by the Manhattan Grand Jury, at least so far. The district attorneys may be bringing new charges, but it's frustrating. It never should have happened. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg presented evidence today to that grand jury, which could also lead to new charges for any number of the about a dozen other migrants police say took part in that January 27th attack in Times Square. And according to Fox News, several men, reportedly suspects, were arrested Monday evening in Phoenix, Arizona. We are also awaiting arraignments for two suspects in the Bronx and two in Manhattan who police say are part of a coordinated group on mopeds. They say they swipe victims' cell phones and later hack them for bank information. And on Long Island. They spit on our flag, they trample on our values, and they commit crimes. That was the message from Nassau County Executive Republican Bruce Blakeman earlier today announcing they've arrested this man that they say is a migrant who stole someone's pro-Israel flag off their front porch. When the victim took off after the man, the suspect, they say, attacked. Crimes committed because of our religion. The color of our skin, the way we dress or who we love will be prosecuted vigorously and thoroughly by my office. And back to that indictment of Yohenry Brito. We do not yet know specific charge or charges because that indictment remains under seal. However, he is set for an arraignment March 25th. Steve, back to you. All right, thanks, Chris.